Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Toshiba Satellite here and this exact laptop is a Toshiba Satellite L55W-5202S model and this one they do have an iCore 7 processor I think it's 3rd gen or 4th gen CPUs that are still good to go I made a video how to upgrade the RAM, the hard drive and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to clean up repaste and clean up the fan on the motherboard if you want to it's really easy to do and you can do this at home i'm gonna go over the tools that you're gonna be using tool number one and very important is an alcohol is an isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 95 percent plus the link for all these uh, tools or material that i'm using will be in my video description if you guys need we are going to be using a workshop towel these are really good to have around to like use one one or two sheets of this one actually i cut a new one when i had a half used one here so yeah you're going to be using this one a thermal paste which we're going to be using i use for this model for this cpus i recommend you with an arctic mx4 or arctic mx5 don't go any higher than that which will be really useless for this type of cpu but if you want to you can go with the thermal Cryonaut, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, these are one of the best brands. But the second one, the good ones, will be these ones right here. You will need a screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. They're really good to have around the house or shop. They do have an S2 class steel metal. That means they do are they are really tough and steel. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get a pro version, you will get an opening tool and tweezers. But if you don't want to get the pro version, get the simple pack. And for the opening tool, we're going to be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers, electronics, and cases. All right, with all this on hand, now we're going to get it started. First thing first, we want to power off the laptop completely. And we're going to Turn it upside down. We're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There are two types of screws in here. The black screw, which is at the back end of the laptop. There are three of them, two, one on each corner, one in the middle. And then we're gonna see the chrome screws, which is one in the middle and side to side and the front row. So we're gonna continue by removing all the screws. Remember the screws are the same size and height, so you don't you can't mismatch them. You can mismatch them, nothing will happen. So I'll put a little magnet here and we're going to remove the screws. So I'm just going to keep the black ones in one pile and the chrome ones in one pile. There we have it. Now all you need to do is to grab your opening tool, in this case the guitar pick. And we're going to open up the laptop a little bit and we're going to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. Just about what one or two or three millimeters inward, and we are just gonna simply twist it towards the back end, back side, and we we're gonna work ourselves to the front end like this. And you're gonna hear some clicks. That's what you wanna hear. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You wanna do it all the way to the back corner, and left and right side. Do both sides, and go all the way to the back corner. Now, once you did the front and the side to side, you don't need to do the back end, but if you want to go and be paranoid, you can do the back end too. All you have to do is to push it right there and just twist it. And there we have it. Now you're going to put a face down. You lift it up from the side where you have the volume rocker. Bring it up. And push it towards the HDMI port so you can release this button, the on-off switch button right there. So that's your bottom case. You can grab a little one last tool would be a toothbrush, a new or used toothbrush to clean up the dust mesh on the bottom if yours has a dust mesh and blow some air can in there. All right down here we have the fan, the heat sink, simple right here. You don't need to remove the battery, but for those people that want to remove the battery, just pull up this jack towards this end just grab it and slide it back and you will disconnect the battery remove the two screws for the fan one two screws all right once you remove those we're going to remove the four screws for the heatsink 
all right now we're gonna keep lift it up you don't want to lift it up from here you want to lift it up from the side here wiggle it around a little bit so you break the seal a little bit and pull it up oh my god and talk about over exaggerating right here obviously disconnect the battery right the the fan cable here don't pull on this cable just pull on the jack right here on the side of the jack just pull it back and there we have it look how much thermal paste they put in here this is from the factory so that's a little bit of exaggerating nothing will happen but just a little too much so what we're gonna do we're gonna soak in this one here and we're gonna just rub it right over and we're gonna clean it up remove the excess there we go it's shiny clean there's no spot left on it and we're gonna remove the excess of the thermal paste of this one and again you can take it outside with a toothbrush clean up the fan this one is pretty clean you can just clean it up inside here and blow some air through here if yours is dusty right there clean the dust uh, connect ducts right there and blow some air through here uh, once we have everything cleaned up we're gonna grab the thermal paste and we are gonna drop a tiny line on the main die and one drop right in the secondary die all right these thermal paste are not conductive so don't worry about it now we're gonna first connect the fan cable right in here just push it towards the jack bring the cable to one side now for this x clamp i would like to bend a little bit back the legs right here the spring so the springiness for this one they loose up so just give a little more tension towards the cpu so it heat transfer will be a little better pull them back evenly make sure they are even on the same height you don't want them to be like a sideways so make sure it's that nice and even now let's put it back down you want to align it straight over and bring it down and you want to put the four screws on it make sure you put it on an x shape just cross it screw them there's a number one two three four or you can do three four two one doesn't matter but as long as you cross screw them you always make sure you cross screw the heatsink for the laptops all right put the two screws for the fan all right, now we are pretty much done down here. We're gonna grab the battery. Make sure you put it evenly inside the jack. Don't put it sideways. Make sure it goes even inside. All right, once you have that one in there, everything else is in place. Double check, cables are not on the way or getting pinched. Grab the bottom cover, bring it over. Scoop down the VGA, I mean the VGA, the HDMI port down. Scoop it in 45 degree in. And bring it down and squeeze the front end make sure you hit those clicks and one of the last thing down here would be to pinch the back end together so you hear those two big clicks and you want to open up a little bit and if you see any gap in here just pinch them together the top and the bottom cover and we're gonna first put the screws at the back and i'm gonna power on so you guys can see it because people keep asking me why don't I power it on after the service. So for those people that have a trust issue, I'm just gonna power it on. So there we go, I put that one, I'll put one in the middle for now. I don't wanna waste your time watching me putting down the screws. The screw goes all over the place. There's no height difference. So I don't know if I have any charger on this one. So let me get the charger. Log it in. When you disconnect the battery and you power on, it might take to five to 10 seconds for it to show a screen, or sometimes it can be right away. There we go, we already got it. Date and time to reset to default. So press enter, go to the BIOS, it will take you there. So you can set your date and time. And after that, it should start to the Windows normal. There's a 16 gig RAM, hard drive, everything is working fine. As always, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out through your own service. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. As always, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. If you want to support the channel, click that like and subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. 
As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.